What's going on Monopoly family? Welcome back to the channel. Back here guys on the kitchen table. Been a while since we've had these raw unfiltered conversations. A lot of you guys look forward to these. Matter of fact, I've been looking forward to making this video. As you can tell guys, we're in a whole different place. We're in a whole different setup, a whole different continent of the world. I'm here guys in Canada, Toronto. If you follow me on Instagram, I would have gave you an update. But today guys, I want to answer a question. A question that comes up time and time again. Uh, the same question that you will ask yourself, the same question you will ask other people or other people will ask you. Matter of fact, it's the same question that I was asked recently on Instagram. And I made a small reply to it, but I want to make a full reply here because I believe it could help a lot of people out there. So here's the thing guys. In a world of visionaries, in a world of dreamers, how come not everybody gets to achieve those dreams and visions? And the truth is, everybody will dream, everybody will have a goal, everybody will have an idea of what they want their life to look like, or what they want their bank account to look like, it's specifically financial goals and dreams, right? But not everybody gets to achieve them. Matter of fact, one out of 10 will actually get to achieve that dream. So here is why, guys. It all leads back to the actual person, their personality, their perspective on life, their environment, and how they've shaped them as an individual will come into play here. So I want to introduce you to this concept called the immigrant mindset or the immigrant mentality guys. You probably heard the stereotype that many immigrants, not all obviously, many immigrants when they arrive to a new place they're, they're already wealthy, but those who do come from a place where they've had very little and they've had very little you know, resources, very limited opportunities and they've basically just survived. They know exactly what it feels like to have less. And then they arrive to a new place. They're hardworking, they become hardworking, they'll always seek more, they're, they're ambitious, they're hungry basically, motivated, there's a fire inside. I mean, that is the mentality, the mindset that every successful entrepreneur that exists out there already possesses, immigrant or not, right? Now, a successful entrepreneur goes out of their way to, to start something and to seek change in their life not because of greed, but because of their history, their past, how, they've, how, how their environment in the past has shaped them. You know, the motivation that, that many entrepreneurs have comes from their surroundings, their environment, and how they've been shaped, what they've experienced in life, because you cannot seek more when you haven't experienced less. It's not possible, guys. So, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to this. And there's two personalities. There's the settlers, and there is the go-getters. Now successful entrepreneurs are usually go-getters. I've never seen a, you know, an entrepreneur who's, or a successful individual who's actually a settler. So here's the thing, there's a huge divide guys when it comes to this. Remember, both go-getters and settlers dream. They both dream. So the settlers, those are ones who fly under the radar. And there's nothing wrong with that by the way. Um, it's, just, it's a way of life. A go-getter is a way of life also and a settler is a way of life also. So the settler flies under the radar. They have dreams, they have goals, they have visions. They're happy with being led. They're, they're not really... They kind of want it. They don't really want it as bad. Um, they usually have growing up in an environment that has provided for them and they've had everything. They've, they've been handed things that they've wanted and they got what they wanted out of life. You know, they don't really know what it feels like to have less. They're kind of okay with just surviving. They're okay with, with, with having just enough. Um, and, uh, not really going after the dreams it, uh, with aggression because they're kind of shy in a way. Not shy, but more meek when it comes to it. However, if we were to compare it to the go-getter, all right? And the go-getter is code red, by the way. And I'll talk about code red here in this video. A lot of you will kind of say, I'm code red. Especially if you, we'll talk about it in a few seconds. But Code Red, guys, or the Go Getter, is basically decisive, very aggressive when it comes to going after the dreams. You know, they're willing to sacrifice their basic human needs to get what they want out of life. And I'm talking the basic human needs. It's all about I, 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 me, 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 right? They're probably selfish in a way because they put themselves forward and everybody else is behind. Doesn't matter who it is, it's just the way they think when it comes to what they want out of life. There is no you know, outcome but actually succeed and there is no uh, I don't know if this is gonna work even if it doesn't work they'll get back up and push forward and here is why I mean they don't listen to videos like this because it's built in already guys there is no going back to the old lifestyle they already know what it feels like to, to not have enough right and it's just something that is built in already based on the environment that has shaped them into having this certain personality so again 
these personalities, you could be a settler and have the code yellow, blue, and, and, and green, um, and then one day you've had enough and you get put in a, in a dark corner. You kind of wake up, you start seeing the light. You start suffering because you're stripped away from all your, you can say, all, all your benefits that you've had right, in life, like the, like the comfort and the safety, and one day something goes wrong, so you get put into this dark corner. And a lot of people, when that happens, they turn into, you know, the depression and stress and whatnot, and they look for alternatives and they're always down, but that should be embraced because that's now going to take you to a whole new level. All right, you become code red. Code red basically will look at everybody else. And by the way, this is coming from a book called Surrounded by Idiots, right? That's actually the title of the book. They'll look at everybody else, code red, and they'll say, you guys are idiots. While the other people will look at the red and they'll say, you know, you guys are greedy. Um, there's more to life than just going after your dreams and going after money and whatnot, etc., etc. There's a, there's a huge divide in society. But again, Code Red actually gets to achieve dreams. Code Red is, is decisive and aggressive. Basically like the movie in uh, Fifty Shades of Grey if you ever watched it. Not that I watched it. Okay, what the hell, I watched it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Acting like you guys didn't watch it. But that's what it's gonna take for you to actually achieve dreams and goals is you being uh, understanding and not forgetting about where you came from. Like, you grow up poor. And one day you get all the opportunities in the world because now you're old enough to go after dreams and visions, you're smart enough, you know, and you have what it takes. You're not gonna sell for the bare minimum. You know exactly what it feels like not to have enough, so you're obviously gonna go in with aggression and getting it, you know, getting everything that you ever wanted. Just like that. You put your eye on it, you get it, you take it. While the other guys, will wait, will kind of diddy dally and I don't know what it is guys um, but that's the honest truth, it all comes down to the environment and your personality it's that fire inside, you know your hard work is, isn't, it's not even, it's the hard work it, it's, the, it's that fire inside guys because if you have that fire inside you're willing to sacrifice your basic human needs to get what you want out of life and Code Red is, is very, is, is, is somebody who's aggressive and very decisive and kind of Selfish in a way, self-centered, business comes first, money comes first, dreams come first, and everything else comes second. And like I said, they'll look at everybody else who's not chasing dreams and whatnot and just lack motivation as idiots, while the other guys will look at this person and say, you guys are greedy, there's more to life to this, etc, etc. And honestly, you guys, we see this in today's world. There's a huge divide amongst people, but that's why these guys get to make it and those guys don't get to make you know achieve their dreams and maybe it takes them longer than usual um, but suffering in the end is the key to success suffering builds you up you know builds you up changes you the way you are your personality and this could be with everything it's not just with money guys you know mental suffering relationships this and that it makes you stronger I mean many men that get cheated on uh, they turn into some kind of alpha males eventually uh, and many men that get disappointed by people will turn into, you know, basically anti-people, anti -so they, they don't like socializing and they'll always have their barriers up, etc, etc. I mean, that is a form of, of suffering and that builds you up. And it's the same with business, guys. See you again, guys, for more videos. I appreciate you for watching. Smashy, smashy if you enjoyed this. Follow me on Instagram if you want. And yeah, peace and love, guys. Matter of fact, let me show you the view before we go. So, the view, guys, out here... Um, it's unreal if you follow me on Instagram you've probably already seen this view so have a look guys so that's the view um, of Toronto we've got the what you call it the CN Tower and then you've got this you've got people going on the day you know there's some reds there there's some yellows there there's personalities here on the street some of them don't even know it don't, don't even know it yet but they will be successful if they actually put their mind to it. The world is small anyway. Um, you never know who's down there that's gonna be running something or owning this thing. So this is the world guys as you see it. It's beautiful. All right, see you again guys.